What's up you guys, it's Jay Carnes, and in this video I'm going to be doing a wood cutout if you can't tell by the big chunk of wood behind me. So I haven't done a wood cutout in a minute now, I think it's been a couple months. Uh, the first one I did is up here, it's uh, my logo. I'm going to put a link up to that so that you can check that out. And then I have another one over here with the donut. I'm also going to link that up so you can check that one out. So with the logo, my logo is already designed. So all I did was just project it, gave it a white border cut into it, brought it, painted it, right? The donut was an experimental one. So I drew in the donut, cut it out, and then I added like modeling paste and gave it, you know, texture and, and like depth and stuff. Um, so that was experimental. This one's gonna be a little different. So what I want to do is I wanna paint something. Um, in this case, obviously you clicked on the video, it's a painting of Spider-Man, but I want to paint it and then cut around the painting. So I want to cut around the brush strokes, any any like crazy marks or anything. I kind of want to cut around it because I want it to look like I just cut into a, a painting. I have no idea how it's going to go. So I'm just going to have fun with it. I'm just going to go with the flow and it is what it is. Um, and as much as I want to start right now, I probably shouldn't because it is 2.54 in the morning and I do need to sleep. But before going to bed, I am going to just with the wood let it dry overnight and I'll start first thing in the morning. Uh, if you don't know what gesso is, I'll link up a video so you can check that out too. So, yeah. Alright guys, so it's the very next morning. I got the wood up on my easel, it's ready to go, the gesso's dried. I'm just gonna start drawing and start painting and just have fun with it. So, let's get started. Alrighty, so the very first thing I'm doing is to sketching out Spider-Man. I'm gonna make it nice and simple, nothing crazy. I don't wanna make it too complicated because I do have to cut around this. So I'm gonna make it simple, just Spider-Man's face, kinda looking to the side, maybe slightly up. And then I really like the whole idea of the spidey senses, uh, kind of like the lightning bolts coming from his head and stuff. So I'm going to add that in. So Spider-Man's suit is red and blue. And since you can't see anything past his neck, you will only see red. So I'm going to take the blue and add it into the background. And then the spidey senses, I'm going to make them yellow. Because I'm painting on wood and not on canvas, my softer brushes were giving me a bit of an issue with laying down the paint. So I switched over to a brush set that I have that has much harder hair. So it lays down the paint better on this rough surface. So for the background, I want the darker blue to be towards the back of Spider-Man's head and then I want it to get lighter as I move out. So I was asked recently why I take the approach of drawing and painting very messy at first instead of projecting or using transfer paper, which I am not against. I love using the projector and I have done the transfer paper before. I just kind of leave that to the times that I have a lot of line work or I work really big and there's a lot of details. Sometimes that blank canvas is very intimidating. So I like to go, just go straight in and just get rough with the marks and just kind of like draw all over it because it just makes the canvas less intimidating and you worry less about making mistakes if you're just very quick and loose and just messy in the very beginning. Everyone has their own type of process to painting. It's what makes it their style. And I have a certain type of style. I, I work a certain way. At first, I make all my marks really loose, really quick. Just basically put it all down. And then when I go to paint is when I actually tighten up the shapes. I make everything more precise. I play with the colors. I play with the composition a little bit, adjust if I need to. That's where I do all the work. But at first, that sketch is just get it down, get the composition overall look, and then just start.
And once all the painting's done and dry, I'm gonna pull out a black Posca paint marker and I'm gonna draw in all these lines in Spider-Man's suit. After I added in the black lines on the suit, I felt like the piece needed a little more black, so I added in kind of like scattered comic book black lines kind of style, and I felt like it just looked a lot better. It came out awesome. I love it. Um, the only thing left to do now is to just take it to my parents and cut it, but I have so much more room on this wood that I'm thinking about doing a second piece and you're not gonna see it in this video. You're actually gonna see it in the next video, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss that. It just makes more sense to just paint something on that side and then just cut both of them out at the same time instead of having to haul this chunk of wood back and forth. So, this video is gonna cut to my parents' house where I'm cutting this out and I would have obviously cut off the second painting so you don't see that in this video so um yeah you're not gonna know what it is so go subscribe so you don't miss that video let's go cut this it was so hot the footage that you're seeing just does not show you how hot it was my camera kept turning off from how hot it was getting the sun was not letting me see where i was cutting it was so bright out and i was drenched i could only cut maybe 15 to 20 minutes at a time before I had to take a break and let my camera cool down. It was so hot and a process that normally takes me like hour, hour and a half, depending on how big the piece was or anything like that, took me almost three hours. So hot. I hate it. All right, guys, so I'm back in the studio. It's already cut out. Uh, the only thing left to do now is to add some final touches. I did chip the paint a little bit over here, and I realized that after cutting out the white area, some areas could get a little lighter, so I'm gonna do that. And on the sides, I'm gonna paint in black. Uh, oh, and then I'm gonna add a hook on the back so you can hang it, so let's do that. Working on this piece was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed cutting out the wood in the way that I did. And after I have it here on the table, I'm able to really lighten up some of these brush strokes to make them pop a lot more. And it's just, it, I feel like it really brings it all together. On the side of the canvas, because I had cut into it after I had gessoed and painted, the sides didn't have any gesso and I didn't apply any because I was being lazy. So I had to, I had to put down a lot more black than I wanted to cover up the wood. But with all that, I think it came out awesome. I love it. I can't wait to show you guys the final shots. It's going to be at the very end of the video. So make sure you stay to the very end. And it's done. I think it came out awesome. I don't know about you guys, but I love it. Uh, I really, really, really like the approach that I took with the wood cutting, where I kind of cut to the biggest brush strokes, and I think it really makes it all pop. I think it really like um, makes it seem more of like a painting, like a 3D painting, than just a regular cutout. It's, it's different, and I'm probably gonna stick with this technique, you know, this style of uh, cutting into the wood uh, for the rest of any wood cutouts that I do, so I'm excited for that. This guy will be available on my website, jcarnesart.com, so if you are interested, go check it out. I have not measured it yet, but the measurement will be in the description of the product. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to see what I did with the second half of that wood. It's coming out awesome already. I like it just as much if I might like it a little more just because of the colors that I'm using. It's just, it's very vibrant colors. So yeah, I just, I can't wait for you guys to see that too. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe and turn on that bell so that you guys don't miss when that video comes out and any other videos I have. So yeah, appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys soon.